But this is another business case scenario I have given for say for instance building a new prototype for market evaluation. There could be several several scenarios in this. As an example I have made uh, like building a prototype for a new model of a car which is not there in the market and the company is simply evaluating whether it will be successful or not. So they have got the designs and they simply want to build it as a prototype. So and that's where you know they approach a, a supplier who specializes in these uh, providing these uh, services to say uh, uh, to build a prototype. The other example could be uh, organizations outsourcing a part of their research and development to the suppliers. Now this is again it could be for new product introduction which is not there and they want suppliers to provide specialized services to do research and development on companies premises um, to complete uh, you know research for a specific product that they are planning to introduce so the solution in this in such cases could be creating a complex services PO with financing terms so financing again as I explained you earlier it will involve a huge amount of uh, advance money to be uh, you know paid to the supplier which is again <clears throat> has to be recovered with a high percentage rate and that's what I've written in the last point high recruitment rate for cost recovery so that's another a scenario wherein Oracle services procurement can be leveraged and its its uh, features can be further uh, uh, used with uh, along with Oracle advanced procurement uh, suite of modules so as you could see I've now given you you know couple of uh, business cases um, to demonstrate you how or to, to at least tell you how you know services procurement can be leveraged in different industries could be professional services or engineering construction or high tech or building a prototype so you got multiple options uh, and multiple uh, scenarios wherein you can use to uh, you know explore and use Oracle services procurement uh, what I'll do it is in the next chapter I will actually take a specific business case scenario and then we will uh, uh, we will take Oracle applications and we'll go there and I will that's where I will create the complex services PO with uh, PO lines and pay items with milestones of different kinds and then I will uh, uh, demonstrate you how it's uh, you know collaborated with the supplier how a supplier fulfills each of them and submits online invoicing and how he's paid online and all the, those tracking how it can be done by multiple parties online so it'll be a very interesting session and please be with me uh, and let's let's explore how best uh, we can use one of these business case scenarios to understand oracle services procurement